Joey, this is the first time that Exeter beat Wilson. What are you feeling right now? What are your emotions? I mean, it's history. I said it just before. Um, you know, we have a dedicated group of guys that go out every week and stick to the game plan and believe in their brothers and believe in the coaching and put in the work every day. And this is what happens when you have opportunity mixed with talent. It creates a big, big plays and a big win. You guys got down 14 nothing. You know, it wasn't easy to yeah. start. How were you able to come back? I think that's just our mentality. You know, in, in past years, extra teams would have said, okay, you know, we roll over to Wilson because that's just how it's been. But the motto this year has been, we're different. We're breaking the glass, the glass ceiling. We're turning the page for Exeter football. And that's what we did. And it wasn't, you know, one touchdown win. It was 42 to 14. Like, this was a statement. It should be a statement. It's a very statement. We're coming. Speaking of statements, Eric Nango ran for over 200 yards. Yep. How happy are you for him? Oh, my God. I mean, I got to get some credit because those two blocks there. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, our line does a great job. I mean, Eric's a great runner, too, but our line, I mean, they stick it out, man. They really do. Like it, like I said, it's a group effort from, from top to bottom. Um, people come to practice every day, and we know what the effort is going to do for us in the games. And, and man, like people just capitalized today. Two touchdowns from Colin Payne. What's yep. the chemistry like between you two? Man, it's Colin Payne. That's my guy, man. Colin Payne, basketball teammate, football teammate, just friend off the field and court. He's that guy, man. He's a gunslinger. He's been my guy since, since I mean, knee high. Um, Colin and I in the offseason did a lot of work because this was his first year of varsity. So me and Colin, man, we were all in the field. We would not want to leave. Like we'd be out there, not in the weather, two, three hours, just to make sure we're perfecting everything, and that's what translates to on the field. How much better can this team get? With forty-two, fourteen over Wilson's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, we can always get better. Any team can always get better. Just think we can improve on this value, you know, film and, and all that stuff. But people still make mistakes. We're human. But the reason that we did get better is because we capitalized on the mistakes and, and looked at it and watched it and fixed the mistakes. So, I mean, we're gonna go back and we're gonna see what we did wrong um, and just move from there. But we're on, a, we're on a full steam ahead. So we'll see how it goes. How nice was it to have Michael Mennett here? And uh, what did he say to you after the game? Um, I didn't get to talk to him a lot after the game. He was just, he just hugged me and said I stunk. <laughs> <laughs> you stunk? Yeah, but after my first touchdown, you know, he was really proud of me because that play was originally designed for me to go outside of the corner. Um, and I made the, the uh, decision to go kind of an audible and take an inside release on the corner because there was no safety in the middle. So, I mean, I thought that was a pretty good read on the fly. And, you know, he said he, he agreed with me that was a good play. But uh, I didn't really talk to him much. I just wanted to make him proud. And also the two coaches standing there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one from Penn State, one yeah. from Maryland, the tight end coaches. Yeah. Uh, what's it like playing in front of those type of guys? Is there is there more pressure? How, do you try and block it out? You know, we joked, uh, me and Eric, before the game that maybe I'll actually block somebody now that I got coaches in front of me. And to some point, it came to fruition. Um, I thought I did a great job with blocking and sustaining the block. Um, and I, although it was pressure, it's like I know both those guys real well. My brother is friends with, with Coach Howell. Like, I mean, he was his old line coach, well, assistant line coach before uh, Coach Bowen moved to the Jaguars. But, um, it's not like it's pressure. Like I have a really good relationship with both those coaches, and I know they're just cheering me on, want me to see see me do well. So um, I don't feel pressure about that. Well, very impressive game. Go enjoy it, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.